latest energy to learn latest energy we have to compare it with daily life example let consider that you are going to cook macaroni we all know that you will cook it step by step for example you boil the macaroni secondly you take the chicken you cut it into small pieces and you fry them thirdly you take some vegetables you cut them into small pieces and you fry them lastly you mix them all and your macaroni is ready now listen carefully when you boil the macaroni you provide some sort of heat energy let you provide 40 joule energy to it similarly when you fry the chicken pieces you also provide some sort of heat energy let you provide 80 joule energy to it also you provide energy when you fry the vegetables let you provide 70 joule energy finally you get the delicious food of macaroni remember that macaroni release heat energy when it is cooled down therefore we say that energy is required at each and every step of cooking macaroni now let consider sodium chloride if i ask you to prepare sodium chloride how you will do it well we know that sodium is a metal and it exists in solid state while chlorine is a non metal and it exists in gaseous form as a molecule firstly we need to convert sodium into small pieces i mean we will convert sodium from solid state to sodium into gaseous state remember that when we convert sodium atom from solid state to gaseous state the energy absorbed is called heat of sublimation secondly we need to fry gaseous sodium atom i mean we will remove one electron from it to make it positive sodium ion remember that when we provide a minimum energy to the gaseous atom to lose one electron and become positive ion this energy is called as ionization energy similarly chlorine gas contains two atoms we will cut it into two small pieces i mean we will isolate or separate the two atoms of chlorine remember that the energy needed to break the bond of chlorine molecule is called dissociation energy lastly chlorine gas will gain this electron to become negative chlorine ion remember that when a gaseous atom gain an electron to form negative ion the energy released is called as electron affinity now every ingredient is ready let mix them all so this positive ion of sodium and this negative ion of chlorine will combine together to form one mole of sodium chloride so we have successfully cooked or successfully prepared one mole of sodium chloride in the previous example just like cooking macaroni where energy was required at each and every step similarly energy is required at each and every step of preparing sodium chloride now listen carefully when sodium ion and chlorine ion combine together to form one mole of sodium chloride in this last stage they release 786 kJ per mole energy which is known as latest energy so this energy is the latest energy therefore we define latest energy as the energy released when gaseous ion react together to form one mole of ionic compound let me repeat it the energy released when gaseous ions react together to form one mole of ionic compound so this is the basic definition of latest energy now if you ask me why sodium ion and chlorine ion release energy when they are combined together well the answer is simple sodium ion and chlorine ion are unstable because they have high energy they want to lower their respective energies by combining together when they combine together they become stable 
and they release energy which is known as latus energy therefore remember that latus energy is the energy released when ionic bond is formed between two gaseous ions now let me teach you one important question which a lot of students are missing is latus energy an endothermic or exothermic process well the simple and quick answer is both latus energy is exothermic process as well as endothermic process for example we have already learned that when gaseous sodium ion react with gaseous chlorine ion to form one mole of sodium chloride they release minus 786 kJ per mole energy this energy is called latus energy now in this case energy is released into the surrounding so we say that latus energy is exothermic process secondly consider this latus of sodium chloride or this three dimensional structure of sodium chloride now i am interested to break this latus into sodium ions and chlorine ions i will give the same amount of energy which it has already released into the surrounding i mean i will give positive 786 kJ per mole energy to this latus to break it into sodium ions and chlorine ions remember that this energy is also called as latus energy this time energy is absorbed from the surrounding so we say that latus energy is endothermic process therefore remember that latus energy is endothermic as well as exothermic process and the sign of latus energy is both positive and negative remember this very very important point latus energy is the energy released when one mole of ionic compound is formed from gaseous ions our latus energy is the energy absorbed to break one mole of ionic compound into the gaseous ions so remember these two definitions of latus energy which many students do not understand finally let me teach you one bonus concept what is the difference between latus energy and heat of formation well when sodium ion and gaseous state and chlorine ion and gaseous state react together to form sodium chloride they release 786 kJ per mole energy which is known as latus energy on the other hand when sodium atom and solid state are pure state react with one chlorine atom and gaseous state to form sodium chloride they also release 411 kJ per mole energy this energy is known as heat of formation or enthalpy of formation secondly in case of latus energy both the reactants have the same physical state while in case of heat of formation the reactants have different physical state thirdly in case of latus energy the reactants are ions having opposite charges while in case of heat of formation reactants are usually elements having no charge thus these are the main differences between latus energy and heat of formation i hope that you have learned all about latus energy